Okay, uh, today is uh, 3.06 p.m. Thursday, February, and we have a disclosure here. I'm not going to be covering every chart here. There is an ES DAX. I'm not going to be covering all those. But what, uh, what I'd like to continue covering the YM, ES, and NASDAQ on uh, uh, only one minute and three minutes. Uh, and uh, and five minutes before we started, uh, and of course Ninja Trader connection. Before we started uh, the U.S. market, this is uh, we have a lot of requests on the DAX. This is the early morning when we closed everything. The morning session, uh, the European morning session at 8:50. Those are the results uh, for the DAX. As we see today, the whole day the DAX and uh, rest of the market in the US market uh, the one minute was struggling a lot if we look at the one minute which is my favorite time frame uh, on the DAX we can see it was a lot of uh, trades on the DAX which I don't like too many trades on the DAX uh, because it moves fast I like it to be one two and done one and two is done being in the market on the Nasdaq uh, more than a couple of three trades uh, is not uh, advisable and this is at 850 where we closed all the DAX and this afternoon or in the morning uh, session in the state when we start the DAX you can see the results for the US session on the left column here you can see the DAX uh, trades from five minutes 377 150 takes 244 takes one minute and um, we have the four range 150 takes and the five range so this is basically most of the traders use uh, I wanted to and this one here at 852 this is where we closed uh, the European morning session and uh, we had the one minute it did well and we can see it was a chop all all European session uh, the whole time frames it was a lot of chops but uh, uh, at around 8 o'clock uh, the market start picking up and this is why you see around 8 o'clock uh, we have a lot of um, uh, market immediately start as I said before in the previous video uh, if this market moving we are nailing it what I wanted to show the most important is doing the Globex on the ES. It is okay to use the three range. Even on the three range, we had a lot of small trades here and there. But the three range, if we notice from 7 o'clock morning uh, in the, until uh, the around 8.30 and nothing but chop also on the three range. As I said before, uh, the three range on the globex is a very good uh, time frame i mean it cannot be every day but um, uh, it is um, a very consistent uh, doing the globex so let's see what happened in the morning session uh, this one here at 10:52. at 10:52, we had uh, one minute uh, we have one, I mean, I don't know if I can. Yeah, there we go. We have ES one minute, NASDAQ one minute, and uh, YM one minute. They already hit the target, but again, uh, the one minute it was struggling all day long on the DAX, on the ES, on the NASDAQ, on the down zones. Today, the, e, uh, the one minute uh, strategy was the auto trade was struggling all day long on uh, the one minute. Anyway, at 10.52, we have, um, uh, this is what we, we're looking at, the ES, three minutes, NASDAQ, three minutes, YM, three minutes. And then we have the five minutes, five minutes, and five minutes on the ES. And this is at 10.52. Then we have the range is on 8.50 on one trade. All those are on one trade. And then at 11.11, uh, let's see at 11 11 uh, we 
we stayed on those three minutes, three minutes, and we hit the target at three minutes, and then we have the YM five minutes, and then the NASDAQ five minutes, and then the ES five minutes on still one trade dose here. And then we have the ES, the three range hit the target, and the five range hit the target. And if we notice on the one minute YM and the NASDAQ, struggling all day long including the es the es was no better it was really struggling today uh, the one minute the best offer was the three minutes and then if we look at 1124 at 1124 look guys look at the one minute we can see how it was struggling very small trades on the three minutes because the three minutes and the five minutes they clean a lot of noises so you don't have this a lot of noises in the three and the five minutes on one trade we have 3100 uh, tw uh, 2100 the ym did not take that trade and i don't know why but uh, on the five minutes also we kept going down even on the nasdaq the five minutes on that trade made 4600 and on the ym five minutes it was 3200 but what is interested in it let me see if this one here no after that uh, we are still at 1139 we are still taking the trades left and right on the range and then uh, we close position on the three minutes and uh, ES, three minutes YM and three minutes NASDAQ. And again, guys, we have to show you the good and the bad. You can see on the one minute here on the ES, how we're struggling the ES today on the one minute. But then This is very interesting. Um, we reset once we hit the target on the three minutes. We reset them again. But what is nice about it, when we had this nice run on the ES three minutes and five minutes, what I noticed today. This is a very nice picture to, even if you are trading one time frame by but by putting the one minute three minutes and the five minutes that can give you very very good idea uh, what's going on uh, with the trend in the market what I noticed uh, something um, that when the three minutes close a big run or the five minutes close a big run like what you see here and I mean you know they all also made the same number when when they close those big runs on the three minutes one uh, and the five minutes i noticed today that before you even a close position the one minute start picking up the trade it's like a reversal on the three minutes or the five minutes this is very interesting so for my traders if you are out of the game and uh, you have not activate your auto trade and you see there is a huge run on the three minutes and five minutes. Please do not jump um, uh, middle of the trend. Let it be. But your best offer, if we look at the three minutes and is running, by the time this three minutes close position, before even it happened, you can see the one minute start picking up and if we are looking at that chart, I mean, from here, the entry started from here. And if we are looking, in a way, it's a reversal. Also, in the same time, maybe if you have a big run and you see the one minute start taking a long trade, maybe there will be also potential to uh, close your position because those here 2100 but right there it was like a little over 3000 so don't underestimate it you know uh, then around 1201 
we hit uh, the four range and um, of course the uh, five minutes we hit the target we reset them again and um, you can see the three minutes start taking the trade At 12.38, we hit the target at 6.25 on the three range. And if we're looking here at this corner here, this is the five range, uh, taking 1,225 on that trade here. And there we go here at 12.35 p.m. We hit the ES five range and the three range and of course we reset them again at uh, 1257 we had all three targets hit uh, the five range hit to 2000 and the ES hit 700 and uh, the three range hit uh, 750 at the same time the market started breaking out so then we can see the three minutes took another run and uh, look at this the five minutes did not do that again guys look at this so we had some beautiful runs today 1821 and 19 and this is was at 104 at 113 again look at this on the three minutes hit the target and then look the one minute picked it up then we hit the target one more time on the three minutes nasdaq three minutes es and three minutes ym and that was at 113 pm then at 129 you know because this one minute picked it up from is like a reversal on the three minutes 740 and this one here by the time this one closed the three the five minutes start picking up those trades and uh, this is the five range after we reset it we hit the target one more time on the three range at 129 uh, the ES3 range and uh, one more time again at uh, 562 we hit the target it was a very wild uh, day today at 149 we hit again the 4 range and the 5 range 525 and 550 this is where the market start dying on us and at 157 we hit again the, the the es and we had some nice trades here on the three minutes and then as we see the one minute to start picking up but in general today uh, the one minute it was a very struggling time frame all the way all the way it was a very struggling time frame so what i did i try uh, for the guys it will be very good education to uh, to put the one minute and the three minutes and five minutes that will give you a pretty good idea uh, how um, how things is uh, going in the market while I was uh, watching the market I made this one here uh, and I will give it to my trader uh, on uh, next webinar this one here has no number but is telling you in a way it is a market analyzer is telling you how the trend is going and where is the auto trade if they are taking short or long that can indicate also the trend I mean it's nothing to do with your trading but uh, this one here it gives um, when the auto trades are taking a trade it's telling me the one minute in a short position the three minutes or the five minutes or the three range it, 
you know, it tells you which direction the auto trade is taking. And I find it, look, right now, if we notice we have the one minute and the five range, there is nothing has uh, to interfere with the auto trade. But uh, this market analyzer, it tells you exactly, look at this, it tells you exactly uh, how the trend in general or what is this uh, auto trade doing. And that it is amazing because if you put it this one on the top or somewhere, that will give you a pretty good idea how uh, the trend is going. And uh, we have the buttons on the auto trade. You can direct it long and short, but most of the auto traders are not interested in uh, touching the charts. They just want to look at numbers. But that's fine, fair enough. But for those guys, they they like to get an idea how the trend it is. Uh, this market analyzer tell you each auto trade if it's taken long or short. That will give you pretty good idea how the majority of the trend, and believe me or not, it tells a lot. I mean, when they are doing the daytime, when uh, they are all taken short, you make a bet on, you can take any trade on the ES at least you know where is the direction if you like want to interfere with the trade but this is not uh, what i'm trying to cover what i'm trying to cover just out of a curiosity if you wanted to to monitor the trend has nothing to do with your auto trading you can put this a small market analyzer and that can give you every time frame what is doing which a lot of traders find it very useful For the rest of the market, I didn't want it to repeat myself and uh, uh, reload it and reload it and reload it. I don't I don't want to do that, but um, I left them the way they are uh, today. Uh, if we look at the YM5 range, the CL, the YM150 uh, ticks, they all hit the targets long time ago. We only have a few trades left, uh, let's say, on the, the CL5 range. Look, look how nasty it was today on the CL. And that's exactly what I'm saying, guys. Also, we have a nasty trade here. So this is a very, very important for us to survive uh, a trade until we find a breakout. Because once the market break out, that will cover the whole uh, uh, trade. And um, welcome to trading. I mean, we cannot uh, nail every trade, but this is... Uh, so the rest, the 244, the 150 takes, and all of them, they are uh, the three minutes, the three minutes DAX today, and the uh, US session did extremely well. One small trade and one big run trade, and it was over. This is the way it's supposed to be the DAX. Two trades most or three trades more, I mean, after three trades, close it because uh, uh, I mean the DAX, if if it have a bad day, can be really really uh, damaging to your account. If you if on the first or the second or the third trade, if the DAX did not close position, stay away from it. It is very dangerous game. Also, uh, on the five minutes did very well. Look, one losing trade. This is the way it's supposed to be on the DAX. It moves a lot, and it is a dangerous on the, on the DAX. So two, three trades maximum. Didn't do it, stop it. There is another day. Folks, that's all what we have for today. And um, I wish you the best. And um, I cannot comment on the market uh, right now. It is a very critical. But uh, please be cautious with your trading and uh, see you uh, tomorrow. Bye for now.